Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Hot Wheels Hot Wheels Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the King Kuda from the Muscle Mania series of Hot Wheels. This is the ninth one out of ten in, like I said, the Muscle Mania series. Um, I did not want to ruin ruin uh, the main part here because I didn't know if it uh, was rare or anything because it did have a little signature up here. If you guys can see that, let me adjust my camera real quick. Don't know if you guys can see that right there, but yeah. I can't really read cursive. I think it says Migos Walker or Magos Walker. Uh, so yeah. But other than that, um, it's already been opened. I've already kind of examined this. I made a video on it, but the file got corrupted. So here's the second one. <laughs> so. Um, like I said, it's the King Kuda. And just because of uh, YouTube's cop, uh, FTC, uh, cop thing, uh, I will let everybody know these videos are made for general audiences, not children or kids. Just, it's made for everybody, no one specifically. But, you know, I have to set my videos, uh, or I have to get, like, Forty thousand fine, forty thousand dollar fine. Um, and I'm only twelve. I can't really play that. Uh, so yeah, I just want everybody to know. So if YouTube sees that they think these are made for kids, well, the thing itself is, but the video itself is not. I just need to clarify that. But other than that, we'll get right into it. So we'll carefully try and keep everything very. Uh, neat. Gonna remove this. Close this back up. We're gonna keep this. So once I'm done looking it up and stuff, I can, you know, uh, watch out for this stuff. So we look here, uh, from just generally speaking from the top. Let me get this stuff out the way. If we look from the top, it looks like any old Hot Wheels car. It does have and open a front open engine right here uh painted on chrome um right here it says urban outlaws i'm guessing that is um uh i don't know really what it is but you know i think it's the company probably cuz when we look on the um then you can see that says Urban Outlaws. So, um, yeah, it has a chrome engine, open engine. Uh, I'm not super fond of open engines, but they do look nice on certain cars with the right body and stuff like that. Um, keep in mind, well, I didn't really keep in mind, but you know, by just by looking at the shape. Uh, I could probably tell that's a Plidesmith, some type of Plidesmith, I would say Plidesmith Barracuda. I haven't looked at the bottom quite yet, but other than that, yeah, it has, like I said earlier, it has a chrome engine up here, a uh, chrome front, which is very shiny, and a chrome interior, which is very detailed, especially on the dashboard, which is up there. As you can see the put it camera light. You guys see it in here. Very, very detailed. So I don't know if I guessed the car right, but usually most pilots <laughs> we're having technical difficulties. One second. Okay, so like I was saying, um I haven't looked at the bottom yet, which says it well what kind of car it is. Uh but you know, just by the shape, because most Plidesmith really have, like, a super flat front. And then a large hump, as you can see here, or an angled, like, this. And then they just slope down, because I already have a Plidesmith, but it isn't a Barracuda. But we're about to see if this is a Barracuda. I'm pretty sure it is. I know for a fact it is. It has to be. There it is, yep. Plymouth Barracuda. Plymouth? Ply I just call him Plymouth. Plymouth Barracuda. 
was made in 2017. But while we're on the bottom with the car, I like the coating they have here. Very smooth, won't hit the track and won't stop it from going down. Uh, so yeah, like the detail on the other underside, very nice. So now we're gonna focus on the wheels, which are my personal favorite because wheels, uh, they're determined fast HP or horsepower. Uh, I would say this has around, um, uh, just speaking of Hot Wheels on a scale from 1 to 10, uh, I'm going to say it has a 5% horsepower out of 10, is what I would say, just because um, its front wheel wheels uh, are a little bit thicker. In my, From my perspective, this looks a lot thicker than this, because you look at the back wheels here they look super thin right like that I'm gonna take this measurement like that these ones are way wider because my fingers just kind of opened up a little bit more so these wheels are a little thicker than those ones and when you're looking at a car or a car's wheels to be exact um, your front wheels initially have to be uh, personally, I like having your front wheels the same side as your back wheels, but your back wheels being just a tad bit bigger than your front wheels because your front wheels provide, um, you know, main thing like steering. That's why their uh, rod is a little bit looser. You can see it moving. Now, for the back wheels, it doesn't have much movement because on, re well, on real cars, the back wheels provide... Uh, the power well that makes it go forward um so you know yeah that really uh matters a little bit when we're talking about hot wheels because uh wheels on hot wheels are very very important because different wheels different things so one thing i forgot to talk about i heard somewhere that if on your rims of your wheels here if they have red, I'm zooming so you guys can see that. If they have red right around the rims, those are called red lines. Now the red lines, uh, I'm pretty sure are a special type of car. Uh, not too special because you know you can actually find a couple of these from time to time. But I think they're made between the years of 1940 or somewhere around there. Nope. 1969 myself. Well, this is when the company was established, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too, uh, I don't know too much about red lines. If anybody knows anything, because I probably have all my information on red lines wrong. But if anybody knows anything about red lines, uh, put it down in the comments. Uh, let me focus. There we go. So, yeah, you can see that the inside. It's also um, chrome. If we get in that crack over there, there's a lot of chrome on this car. But these wheels seem that they can go really fast and seem pretty smooth. They're rod in the middle. Uh, you know, it's really big. It really fits the size of the car of the wheels here. Uh, personally, I would suggest having a little bit of space, like, because where the rod is, which basically is a metal rod that comes through here, which the end you can see right there in the middle, very middle of there. I said I like having it a little loose to the point where the wheels can have a little bit of mobility and looseness, because when it has a little bit of looseness, um, you know, it can just go better. Because if I have a finger, my hand here, let me zoom out. If I have my hand here, or like, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but you know. Um, the wider it is, so say the wheel is about this wide, and the rod is about this wide, right? It's going to have a harder time going through. Or, you know, spinning in general. See, you can't really spin because it matches the exact size. 
So if you were making it smaller, it would, you know, have a little bit more mobility to it. So we're, I think we're going to wrap this up right around here. Um, the door, the doors do not open. I know some Hot Wheels cars that do have opening doors. Other than that, I would say this would be very good on the track. Uh, but yeah. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to preserve this car because I've been wanting this car for about five months. So I'm going to preserve this car because, you know, I feel like it's special just because it's a little box is signed or whatever. I don't know if all the boxes are signed. Let me know if they are. So that was it for our King Cuda today. Um, Pies with King Cuda to be exact. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day and goodbye.